Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jennifer Daly, a fellow fine artist, and today I want to talk about a question I get from a lot of the new artists I talk to. How to market your art online when you have two different audiences. And you might not like the answers I have for you today, but let me share my insights and my experience with you so you can make your own decisions moving forward. The first thing you want to understand is why you have two different audiences. Are you making two drastically different types of art that don't have any crossover? For example, do you paint traditional landscapes in muted colors and then also really bright contemporary abstracts? Or maybe you paint, but you also make jewelry? Or maybe you only make one style of original art, but you also offer education like myself. So the answer to how you will handle these scenarios is different, but regardless of which of these scenarios you're dealing with, the fact remains that if you have two different audiences and you wanna serve each of them well, you're essentially running two businesses, which I know from experience <laughs> is a lot of work. So here's the part you may not like to hear, but if you're just getting started and you don't have a lot of traction with any one thing that you're offering, my advice is to pick one and let the others go, at least for now. I want you to think about this task for a minute. So pretend I've given you a piece of wood, 10 large nails, and a hammer, and your job is to hammer those nails into the wood, but you only get 10 wax to do it. So if you go and pound each of those 10 nails one time, you'll hardly be able to get them started. But if you pound one nail 10 times, you'll get that sucker all the way in. So I'm really gonna suggest that you put 100% of your effort into getting traction and recognition for your one thing. This is what I did with my original art. And then when I reached my goals there, I realized I had the bandwidth to delve into education. And doing things this way means you see the results from your efforts so much faster. It's also much better for your brain because your focus won't be pulled in so many directions. But let's say you've reached the point where you're ready to add your second thing. You'll need to decide if these two things can live nicely under one brand or if you really do need to keep everything separate. In my case, I keep everything together as the artists who are interested in my educational offerings are also interested in how I present my art, though my collectors are not necessarily interested in my artist education. Practically speaking, there are a few things that you'll need to consider. You will need to decide how you wanna handle your social media. You can consider creating separate social media accounts for each of your offerings if the audiences are truly 100% different. But keep in mind that this is literally double the work so if your audience does have some overlap, I'd suggest you keep a single account and plan your content so that 50% of it appeals to both audiences and then 25% specifically to audience one and 25% to audience two. In my case, I only post art business content like this on YouTube and I try to keep Instagram so that that 50, 25, 25 ratio works. I find that both my audiences are interested in behind the scenes and process type content, while my collectors appreciate photos of my art in situ and artists are interested in business strategies and painting tips. So after getting your social media strategy figured out, one place you will definitely wanna keep your audiences separate is on your email list. You'll use segmentation to create different groups based on the preferences and interests of your subscribers. And then you can send newsletters featuring your latest paintings to the one group and updates on your educational offerings or whatever other thing you're offering to the other group. And when you do this, you'll see better open rates and better engagement because you're giving each audience exactly what they want and none of that other stuff. So finally, I wanna remind you that I'm a huge believer in just getting started. As you're trying to figure out how best to deal with your separate audiences, ask yourself, what would easy look like? And do that. And just know that some things are gonna work and some things aren't gonna work and be flexible and ready to make changes. Marketing your art online to two different audiences is all about understanding their unique needs and preferences 
and how you can speak to each one without creating a ton of extra work for yourself. So get started and find success with your one thing before bringing in that other thing if you can. Figure out if there's an overlap between your audiences so you can speak to them both at the same time when appropriate, as well as offer specific content for each audience. Segment your email list so you can create emails for each audience and always be ready to analyze your results and adjust when needed. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. And please leave a comment below sharing your experiences with marketing to different audience. I'd love to hear your stories and tips that you may have. All right, thanks for watching and until next time, keep creating.